Good morning, Wealthy Affiliate. This is Chris Scott, the Teddy Bear. And this training video is going to show you how to put a translator into your website's pages and posts in the text editor using HTML that we will get directly from Google. So Google will be powering your website and your website in particular because you're, you are going to be linked by HTML code in the text editor to the Google Translator directly for your website. And I'll show you how to, how to do that in just a minute. Now, if you speak the other, if you speak other languages, you want to write in those languages if you want a website to be in that, that uh, language. The reason I say that is because there's something called transliteration and there's something called translation. Transliteration does not make sense usually into another language when you are using the word for word uh, transliteration of what's being said. Things don't make sense. And I'll give you a, a real briefly, like for instance, uh, in Spanish, the word senorita. Okay. You, we say that that means miss. Actually, actually what it means is senor means mister. And then the suffix ita means little, like hermanita, which means little sister, hermanito, little brother, right? Hermano is brother, and ito is masculine gender suffix meaning little, so hermanito is little brother, okay? So senorita is senor, ita, senor, mister, ita, little, in the feminine gender, so you're saying female little mister, and adios, as is not actually by. It is a contracted word, a ah, meaning toward a tune, dios meaning God. So you're actually saying toward God, to God. Now, Hispanic people don't say by. You know, as a matter of fact, they rarely say adios, hasta luego, or hasta la vemos, or um, hasta la vista, or just hasta anything, hasta la bye bye. But anyway, the best translator, and I've looked at several, is Google. And the reason why is because I often help Google, or I like to consider myself helping Google, by taking faulty translation and showing them what the actual translation should be. Um, and if, if you're like me and speak several other languages, it's important that you help out Google from time to time in correcting those things so the algorithms and the uh, uh, AI can actually learn how to translate the languages that are most commonly used. Now, Google translates 92 languages. There's many, 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 many more languages than that. But without further ado, I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to actually go to the website or go online. So here we are online. And then let's go to my website. Now this is my actual website right here. So as you can see, and if you're a newbie, and this is out of the blue, I want to show you that when somebody is at your website, you have it's important that you have light and speed download time. And it's also very important that you grab their attention within just a couple of seconds. And uh, between the top, let me show you this right here. When Oftentimes you'll hear people talk about the folder. Fold is from the top of your computer to the bottom of your computer, okay? This right here, this area is called a fold. And that's what's important that you, you keep, uh, that, that you grab somebody's attention during that. Now, as you can see, I have a button right here. And that button is linked. If I click on this, and I'll get to the translator in just a second, it takes you directly to uh, one of my home pages. And I just pre-populated this for the, the sake of showing you. Uh, I forgot to populate that up there. But you need to be able to grab their attention right off the bat. And for me, for instance, mine, what, what mine said, well, let me get back to it, to it now. <laughs> See, things go wrong even for us, right? <clears throat> so... What mine, what mine does is I've got a button that says click here to become a wealthy affiliate to free website. So you want something to grab their attention right off the bat. 
But let me first show you. I want to show you what a translator looks like on your page. And then I'm going to show you how to put one on. This right here is a translator. And when I hit this translator, I have what's called a drop down. There's, you can have vertical, you can have horizontal, and you can have a drop down. So if I wanted to translate this page into, oh, I don't know, hydroglyphics or Serbian or, you know, Japanese, Let's, let's change it to Japanese because they're not using the Arabic uh, letters. And then, boom, you see that it gets translated into Japanese. And we can translate it in basically any languages. Si usted lee en el español, eso es la uno que usted quiere. If you want to read it in Spanish, then this is the one that you, you want. Okay? And, of course, we can take it right back to the English. So anyway, without further ado, let me show you. Let's let's go back. And that's a page that has a translator. So let's let's go to this one here. And as you can see, this page does not have a translator on it. The translator would go right there. So without further ado, let's put a translator in it. Now so let's go inside the dashboard. And that's choosing niche, niche market. Oh, wow, I have two comments from last night. I'll have to see what those are about. But let's go inside the dashboard, and let's go down to a post. We'll go all post, and we'll go to this choose niche market one. WordPress is a little sluggish today. All right. And this is our visual editor. I want to show you in the text editor, there's no translator here. So let's go about getting that, all right? So what you want to do is you want to go to this address right here. And I'll slow down while you do it. Uh, this HTTP is not necessary. Uh, by the way, if, if you're not using a proxy or, or lock in your, your search bar, you really should because, man, you're browser can get hijacked. But uh, I downloaded a project called Iconomize one time, and I almost never got that thing out of my computer. But anyway, what you want to type, and you don't have to put this or the www, Google understands that. You can just simply put translate.google.com forward slash manager forward slash website forward slash add right now after that what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to put your website now, I've already put mine in here um, and here I would just go ahead and put the HTTP okay and it's important if, if you wanted a different website because Google tracks everything they use analytics for everything that you already know and this HTML code that you're going to be putting in your text editor is actually one more way that you can link to Google. And whether it's right or wrong or however you want to view it, Google is Google. And they can do anything they want. And the more Google you use, the higher you're going to be ranked. So take advantage of the Google Plus. Take advantage of Google My Business. Take advantage of the Google Webmaster Tools. Anything to Google, go for it. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day had asked the question about page speed. And they didn't like it because Google gave a rating instead of telling them what the actual down, download speed was. Download speed is variable, okay? Depending on what region of the world you're in, depending on what your internet speed is, depending on what, who your internet service provider is, what the ISP is, so many other different factors, it's going to depend. Some people still have dial-up. So if you think your page is going to load in 1.2 seconds, and for somebody that's using dial-ups, then the, the wheel's spinning, but the squirrel's dead. Google ranks the website, okay? And I like that rating system much better than I do the time, but that's just me and Google. But <clears throat> anyways, what we want to do, is once we've got our URL in there, we want to go to the... Um, plugin set and this is where you can try you can put the thing if you've only got one other language or one other market like 
Russian or whatever, you can do just that one specific language. But if you want to be able to translate into, uh, it says all languages, Google translates into 92 languages. And let me assure you, there are a lot more languages than 92. But Google has 92 languages the last time I checked. And if you want to, for it to be able to translate in all the languages that Google has, then you, you make sure this is more, uh, um, dotted. Then you have the display mode. Now, I like the drop down mode. I like that because it, it looks better on the website. But you can also put the icon as vertical or you can put it as horizontal. And then the language selection will display differently as well. Then we have this section right here. And this is the advanced setting. Now, you can change this if you want to. If you, if you want uh, your page to contain content in multiple languages, okay, for whatever reason, uh, there are like, let's say the Philippines, okay. The Philippines, they speak eight different languages. There's eight different languages are common there. Um, two of the most common, uh, which uh, I can understand and could speak at one time, but because I haven't used them in so long, I've lost them, is Tagalog and Visayan. And a lot of times you switch back and forth between the languages because one language explains it better than the other does. Okay, so I use I like to use the drop down, and I like to have it automatically display translation banners to users speaking languages other than the language of your page. And now what we want to do is we want to get code. <clears throat> so we get get code. Oh, let me let me say something real quick here too. Also, if we can go back, that I don't think I covered. If I didn't cover this area here, and if I did, please forgive me. Uh, I'm a very simple-minded man. <clears throat> this right here is important. If if you have a, another language besides uh, or a website that's in another language, like uh, in in Deutsch or German or um, uh, Spanish, Japanese, or Cantonese, or Mandarin, or some other language, the Cyan, Tagalog, uh, make sure that you have this checked. Because this Google, the one thing I love about the Google Translator is, is uh, an actual translator, or it's the best I've seen, instead of a transliterator. Okay, And there's a huge difference there between the two. So it translates from that language because of the idioms that are involved there. So we've got a website in there. We've got our, our mode selected. So now we need to get the code. So we get the code right here. So you want to match the left button and you want to drag and highlight everything. Then you want to right click and select copy. Then we want to go to our website. And then we want to go from the visual editor to the text editor. Go right at the very beginning left click to get the, your cursor up there, right click and then select paste by left clicking and then you want to update. Okay, update it right there and just give it a couple of seconds for oh, WordPress has been sluggish. And here we are. So here is your code. And when you go to the visual, you won't see it. Okay, it's so you think, so don't panic because you say, oh no, I, the it, it's not there, the translator. When we go to the actual website, okay, we go to the front end because you're in the back, the translator appears. If you hit this button here, let's scroll down a little bit. If you hit this button here, then you can translate it into a different language, okay? And same thing over here. We can translate it into, let's, uh, let's translate it into Japanese, okay? We can translate it into Japanese. I love the way Japanese look. Okay. Now, we can use this. This is still Japanese. Some people are going, that's not Japanese. Well, yeah, it is. Now, this right here is Japanese the way Japanese read it. Okay. But you can also translate it into the language using the letters that you understand as well. All right. So then we go back. Well, let's translate this back to English. So we'll go back here. And then we'll translate this back to English. And then that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All you do is you wrench and you repeat. And I thank you very much.
and Godspeed.